This video provides an overview of using Hardware Asset Management with ServiceNow to manage your hardware assets. You can skip to any of these topics from the YouTube description for this video. Hardware Asset Management, or HAM, provides prescriptive and automated features to increase your asset data accuracy throughout the asset lifecycle. With HAM, it's important to know what assets do you own? Where are they located? And finally, are you using what you have so you can maximize your investment in these assets? HAM on the NOW platform can help you answer these questions by providing visibility into your hardware assets throughout their lifecycle. With HAM, you can know and control your assets to enable better decisions and optimize your asset investments to deliver better IT services, mitigate risk and increase visibility of IT assets, enforce asset policies and regulatory requirements, and reduce asset costs and automate asset lifecycle processes to minimize wasted resources and eliminate repetitive tasks. First, you need to know what hardware you have. That's where hardware model normalization comes in. Hardware inventory data usually comes from multiple sources, and they're not always consistent. But each hardware item has a unique model number, and ServiceNow Hardware Model Normalization uses this number to normalize records with inconsistent product names and manufacturers. It aligns them under one common display name that combines the product name, manufacturer, and model number. This process of normalization aligns the values in the database with those in the UNSPSC, which provides the global standard for product recognition. Let's look at this example on the platform. We can see that this hardware model record has been normalized and that the display name is a combination of the manufacturer, product, and model fields. Data is normalized via the Hardware Model Normalization Content Service. This content library is stored within your instance and is updated on a weekly basis from the ServiceNow content team. In the Hardware Model Lifecycles tab, we populate manufacturer lifecycle dates such as end of sale, end of support, end of extended support, and end of life. With this information, you can proactively strategize hardware refreshes by having sufficient time to plan and negotiate costs for those replacements. Now that we have accuracy at the model level with asset normalization, let's look at how we automate lifecycle management for individual assets. Flows are prescriptive flows built for a specific asset process. ServiceNow provides workflows in the base system that you can run to automate bulk stock orders, hardware disposal, and hardware requests. You access these flows in Flow Designer, add personnel assignments, and they're ready to run. If your process deviates from the standard workflow, you can copy and customize a flow to meet your organization's needs. Here, we copy a flow and add it to the Hardware Asset Management application. Now we can edit or add actions as needed. Now let's see one of these workflows in action. We need to dispose of this laptop that's not working. Its state is currently in use. We start by creating a new hardware disposal order. We select a stock room and assign a user. To select the assets for disposal, we edit the planned assets list. We can alter the filter depending on what assets we're looking for, in this case an Apple MacBook Pro that's in use. We run the filter and in the resulting list we can select each asset for more details. Here's the one we want with the matching asset tag. Now we need to verify that it's the correct asset by selecting it and using the Verify UI action. The stage changes to Verified, the state to Retired, and the substate to Pending Disposal. The asset record displays these changes too, dynamically. Now we can close the first task. The next task, Schedule Pickup, appears in the Tasks list. 
Here we select the vendor and date for pickup. And close the task. The next task, Asset Departure, allows us to enter the vendor order ID provided by the vendor, a pickup contact name, and other details. We select the asset and then depart from the UI menu and close the task. In the next task, Vendor Confirmation, we close it after receiving confirmation from the vendor that the asset was received. In the final task, Disposal Documentation, we attach the disposal report and the Certificate of Data Destruction. We also confirm that there was a Certificate of Disposal and that the selected asset was disposed. Then we close the task. The disposal order stage is now completed. And we can verify here in the asset record that the asset state is retired and the asset substate is disposed. Now let's look at the new automated asset tasks that work behind the scenes of every incident, change, and work order when HAM is installed. Every time a ticket is resolved by a technician for a deployment, swap, or retirement, Updates are needed for the related hardware configuration items, or CIs, assets, software allocations, and maintenance contracts to stay accurate. Without HAM, making these record updates was a manual activity needed in addition to updating the ticket. For field technicians, these manual updates can be tedious and are easily skipped, leaving inaccurate records in your CMDB and asset database. Let's look at an example. Here we have an incident about a broken computer. The quickest way to get the employee what they need is to swap out the asset. We have a computer available so we can resolve this incident. We enter resolution notes and select swap in the asset actions menu for the affected CI. We select the new asset given to the user and resolve the incident. So with just a few clicks, we resolved the incident and swapped out the asset. But what about the associated records? The asset lifecycle tasks that come with hardware asset management automatically send the asset for repair or disposal, transfer software allocations to the new asset, and end the maintenance contracts. For the new asset, these tasks set the state to In Use, assign a location based on the assigned user, and start the maintenance contracts. Now let's look at how you can audit your assets to ensure the accuracy of your records. Using the ServiceNow Agent mobile app, you can scan item barcodes, and the platform audit record is updated automatically. You can use the app online or offline if internet is not available at the site. Here's an open stockroom audit on the mobile app, which is the same one displaying in the platform on the right. No assets have been scanned yet. When we start scanning barcodes, the number displays in the Review button, and we can tap it to see what we've scanned so far. We can return to the camera and keep scanning. When we're done, we tap Review again, and then tap Submit. We can see the results of the scan in both the app and the platform. When we refresh the audit record on the platform, we can see more detailed results, including the list of expected assets and the scanned assets. When we open an asset record, we can see the record of the audit in the Audit tab. Let's return to the audit record and complete the audit in the app. The audit status changes to complete in both the app and the platform record, and the audit record is locked down to prevent any further changes. Finally, let's look at the Hardware Asset Dashboard, which provides a command center for hardware asset managers. It uses performance analytics to report overall statistics for our hardware assets. The Model Management tab shows us the number of hardware models approaching end of life this month, this quarter, and this year. We also see the normalization status for all of our assets, as well as a lifecycle overview. 
The Procurement tab allows us to see the purchase orders that are pending delivery worldwide. We can filter this view by location. We can also see orders by vendor and expenditures by vendor and requests that still require sourcing. The Inventory tab shows us the number of hardware requests fulfilled from stock versus buying net new. We can also monitor open stock orders set for delivery and active stock rules by category. This tab also displays our open transfer orders and open asset audits. We can also see new hardware assets found during audits. And finally, the End of Life tab shows us hardware nearing its end of warranty this week, this quarter, and this year. We can also see the status of our hardware asset disposal and the methods of disposal. For more information, see our product documentation, knowledge base, or podcast, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.